एंड वेलकम टू तरुण आयर्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग एमसीक्यूज बेस्ड ऑन द करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ 27th ऑफ अक्टूबर 2022 सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स चंद्रयान 3 मिशन सो वी हैव टू कंसीडर दीस स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द चंद्रयान 3 मिशन व्हिच इज स्केड्यूल्ड टू बी लॉन्च्ड इन द ईयर इन द ईयर 2023 Basically, the first statement says it will exhibit soft landing proficiency on a stellar body. Now, this is correct. It is going to the Chandrayaan two. It uh, Chandrayaan two base which had this rover and an orbiter. The orbiter was successfully placed in the orbit. The rover, the lander by the name Vikram, it it had crashed. It had crashed, right? It had a crash landing rather than the soft landing. what is the soft landing means now basically this is the surface um, a space uh, you know uh, the the rocket it comes and it lands say safely here rather than crashing into the surface this is what the soft landing means and the isro is been trying to soft land uh, uh, on the stellar body so yes the first statement is correct it will study the subsurface and exosphere this is also correct With C three, with is with the Chandrayaan third soft landing, India will become the first nation to achieve this. This is an incorrect statement. India probably would become the would become the fifth state, fifth country, I guess, maybe fourth or fifth country. Please, please check this. Please check this whether India is going to become the fourth nation or the fifth nation to achieve this plate because USA, China, and Russia has already done this. So I think India would become the fourth country. India would become the fourth nation because USA, China, and Russia has already achieved this soft landing target. India has yet to achieve, so India would probably become the fourth nation to achieve this. So first and state second statement is correct. Third one is incorrect. So we have to select the correct answer. One and two is the correct answer. Hence B will be our option. The next question is, which of the following statement is incorrect regarding post disaster needs assessment? Now what is this post disaster needs assessment? is it then initiative of the government of india to assess the disaster mitigation needs of the country it aims to establish a joint statement and recovery plan post disaster it is a joint product of the eu wb and undp it was first adopted in india post 2018 kerala floods now what is this now let me tell you some certain things about post disaster needs assessment now basically This is a joint product of the European Union, World Bank, and the United Nations Development Program, and it was first adopted by India post 2018 Kerala floods. It basically aimed to establish a joint assessment and the recovery plan post the disaster. Now, whenever a disaster hits a country, we, there is a. It is highly requisite that a country needs to have a plan, a recovery plan, a rescue plan, already um, at its hand. at her hand sorry so as to achieve so as to achieve the quick rescue quick rescue and quick relief and rehabilitation so therefore a plan is required now this post disaster needs assessment plan is that plan however it is not an initiative of the government of india to assess the disaster mitigation needs of the country therefore a is will be a is our correct answer what are honesty shops honesty shops now what happens uh, in some in 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 some places there are shops however there is no shopkeeper shopkeeper basically relies on the honesty and the integrity of the consumer to give the to give the money and take away their things or what they wanted without stealing or without being dishonest now this is what the honesty shop means now basically it was launched in 2015 as a uh, part of the student police cadet pro cadet project the first statement the second statement is it aims to inculcate better civic sense among student students there is no salesman at these counters and students can drop the money for each item the second and third statements are very general as per the concept of the uh, honesty shop this is correct the first statement is partially incorrect actually it was not launched in the year 2015 it was it was launched in the year 2004 i guess so first statement is incorrect second and third statement is correct so we have to select the correct answer therefore b will be our correct answer question number 4 says the right to privacy is a fundamental right 
under which article now right to privacy is included in the art in the right to life in right to life and this right to life it comes from the article 21 which has the broadest interpretation after the putta swami case of 2000 swan 2017 so therefore right to privacy is article 21 Question number 5 talks about with reference to the mission life consider the following statements mission life we discussed in our editorial also you can go to the editorial playlist and check it it was introduced at the 1972 stockholm summit this is incorrect it was introduced by the prime minister modi at the cop 26 summit glasgow all right so first statement is incorrect the second statement talks about it aimed to nudge individuals and communities to practice a lifestyle synchronous with nature and recognize pro people planet so yes life has a p3 approach second statement is correct it aimed to achieve environmental sustainability by 2030 this is incorrect basically the the mission life wants to nudge people so as to consume according to the requirement of the environment like the life aims to have pro planet people p3 approach so first and third statement are incorrect only second statement is correct Select the correct answer using the code given below. Second statement is our correct. Therefore, C will be our answer. Let's move on to the next question. The scorched earth tactic was in news recently. Consider the correct statement. It is an alternative term for the slash and burn cultivation. It is a form of military strategy. It is used in civil engineering and road construction. It is an event when earth temperature would rise above 1.5 degrees Celsius. What it is? Now what happens this in scorched earth tactics now if we remember the world war one and world war two basically the scorched earth tactic means the military intervention in such a way so as to leave no one alive like scorched earth basically so ukraine so ukraine has accused russia of scorched earth taxi tactic considering the several missile attack that russia had on ukraine so scorched earth tactic is related with the form of a military strategy that means basically give no chance to opponent to retaliate consider the following statements coal ash contains arsenic lead and mercury coal fired power plants release sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen into the environment high ash content is observed in indian coal now these are the uh, some statement with respect to the coal and we have to we will have to probably select the correct answer so let's see which one of these statements is correct so when we talk about indian coal indian coal is high in ash content it has a high ash content and a high sulfur content so if it has high sulfur content after oxidation and after combustion it will give rise to sulfur dioxide and oxides of the nitrogen which is the correct statement which they will be released into the environment Indian coal has high ash content and yes the coal ash will contain arsenic lead and mercury so all the statements are correct with respect to the coal now your homework probably will to identify the type of coal are found in India what are the locations in which the coals are coals are found found the mines in which the coals are found and and this Peculiar characteristics of each type of coal, the lignite, anthracite, bituminous, peat, etc. All right. So all three are correct. Therefore, D will be our answer. Let's move on to the next question. Mission Indradhanush launched by the government of India pertains to what? Now, by this name Indradhanush, there are two schemes. The one scheme is caters to the vaccination, the basically the immunization, and the second scheme was with respect to bank recapitalization. That was also named the Indradhanush. Okay. However, if we consider this particular question and look at the statements given, the immunization of children and pregnant women, construction of smart cities across country, that is the uh, smart city mission. India's own search for the earth-like planet in outer space, this is incorrect. New education policy, this is also incorrect. Only first statement is appropriate to the to the to mission Indra Dhanush. Therefore, A will be our correct answer. Let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statements regarding Chief Justice of India. She or he should be a citizen of India. That's correct. 
she or he is appointed as per the national judicial commission this is incorrect the chief justice of india is appointed by the president all right as per the name recommended by the collegium system so we follow collegium system there is no such judicial commission all right so second statement is incorrect yes he should be a citizen of india and cj serves until he or she is 65 years of age this is correct and it is 62 when it comes to the high court and 65 when it comes to the supreme court so first and third statement are correct which is the incorrect statement incorrect statement has has been has to be uh, pointed out only second statement is incorrect right so only second so if i delete this one so b will be our correct answer all right only two the final question of the day is with reference to the indian judiciary consider the following statement any retired judge of the supreme court of india can be called back to sit and act as a supreme court judge by the chief justice of india with the prior permission of the president of india that's correct this this one is correct high court in india has the power to review its own judgment as the supreme court does this is also a correct the high court is also a court of record and can thus review its own judgment so both the statements are correct which of the following uh, statement given above is our correct both the statement therefore c will be our answer so that's it for today thank you so much for watching tarun ayas have a nice day